Hi, I'm Paul Kenyon. I'm a BAFTA-winning journalist and filmmaker, mainly for the BBC, and I've filmed all over Africa, and that's why I decided to write a book about it. I'm amazed by how little people know about Africa, and that's why I decided to write Dictatorland, because I wanted to tell the story of the continent with all the colour, all the intrigue, all the human stories which make it what it is today. I've been to most of these places and I've witnessed the damage the dictators do. I've seen child slave labour in the jungles of Côte d'Ivoire, whilst just down the road the dictator built himself a monument that's 35 storeys high and an exact replica of St Peter's Basilica in Rome. And there it is, standing in the middle of the jungle, all built on the proceeds from illicit cocoa money. Whilst I was in Congo, I met this retired boxer who had an amazing talent for poetry. And this is what he told me. He said, at the start of things, God traveled the world, placing precious minerals in the earth. A little gold here, some diamonds there. When he came to Congo, he was tired and he lay down and he left everything that he had beneath the soil. But then came the Bhutu. He stole everything he could get his hands on. He built himself this remarkable palace in the middle of the jungle, which people called the Versailles of the jungle. And he had these very lavish dinner parties where pink champagne was drunk and he was handing out vintage wine as presents. And people, guests from around the world, arrived on private jets. And all the while, of course, his own people were either in prison or starving. This book is packed with original stories about Africa. First-hand accounts from colonialists who were there at the time, and my encounters with dictators' families and their friends. We simply have to understand how Africa arrived where it is today. And not just because it's the sleeping giant of global geopolitics, but because Africa's story is our story.